It is fall and time for that fall home maintenance checklist. First thing you want to do is make sure that you have clean gutters and downspouts. If you have leaves that are blocking the gutters, then when you get rain, not only do you have it spill over and not drain properly, but when it gets cold, anything up there that uh, is water that can't make its way through will sit there and turn to ice, which can cause further damage to your roof with ice dams. So just trust me on this one, get your gutters and downspouts cleaned. You also want to make sure to rake or blow the leaves because if you leave uh, leaves sitting on top of your grass, if they're thick enough, that means they won't let, let any light penetrate. And then when your grass tries to grow in the spring, it will die. So you also want to do the same thing with perennial beds. You can compost leaves and, and they make good compost, but you have to crush them up and then distribute them around where you have plants, like in perennial beds and not just on top of everything. Check around windows and doors as far as any kind of air leaks. So if you have anything that has weather stripping, make sure that is in good shape and that you don't have any wind that's going to whistle through. Bring in any outdoor furniture or planters that don't do well in the cold, like ceramic or terracotta planters. Uh, anything that gets water in there as that water expands and turns to ice, it can damage or totally destroy those pots. If you do not have anywhere that you can bring those things in and store them, if you don't have any space, at least consider tarping them with a bungee cord so that you can give them a little bit of protection and at least keep out most of the water. This is also the time of year to plant grass seed if you need to fill in some bald spots or if you're planting bulbs or other perennial plants. It's also time when some shrubs and trees should get trimmed, so don't just go willy-nilly because certain shrubs should not be pruned in the fall, but it's something that you should look into if you do have a property with shrubs. Finally, uh, tune up, test out, and make sure that things that you will need during the winter, especially in the event of a power outage, are working properly. So tune up that snow blower, which probably hasn't been used since last winter. Uh, make sure that batteries on flashlights and um, backup batteries for sump pumps work. If you have any kind of emergency radio, anything you would use in the event of a power outage that might take batteries, make sure those batteries are fresh and working. Similarly, make sure that batteries for any smoke detectors or carbon monoxide detectors are working properly. The one other thing is radon. If you have a radon system, just double check that it's working right because during the winter months, you are more likely to have the house closed up so you want to make sure that your radon system, if you have one, is working properly.